everybody i want to make a quick drag bat video uh with the new updates and all that where they've been nerfed a little bit uh they're still really effective if you do it correctly and i'm going to show a couple um so we'll go but i'm here with the kids and the cousins hi do you guys want me to play video games anymore no why because they're boring and they suck anymore oh, okay all right all right okay <laughs> Now that we have that established, let's go. All right. So when it <laughs> when it comes to a drag bat attack, some of the things you want to look out for are multi infernos. You've got to take those out if you plan to to let your drag bat or your your bats live. Generally, if they live beyond your uh, your bat squad, they're they're just gonna destroy your bats. Uh, your drag squad, I should say. If they live beyond your drag squad, you you're just gonna loose so um, I'll show a couple of attacks that I did this last war and kind of give you an idea of exactly why I chose that one um, these are not max bases but I have taken out max bases with this attack but this time they're they're not so here we go so in looking at this attack what you want to do is, of course, destroy the multi multis if there is any on this base. There's not. Um, you want to try to take out three out of the five wizard towers or else you're out of luck. Because one shot from a wizard tower will completely destroy any bats in the area. Um, and that's it. Do you guys like bats? No! Oh, gosh. I love Don't, them. You can't I mean, yell. You can't yell. I like bats. You like bats? I love bats. You like, you like bats? bats? I hate them just to hey, know guys, guys like never around me. Do you like dragons? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I love dragons. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm in love I with like dragons. dragons. Okay. I've been in love right. with dragons cool. since before okay. I You've been in love with dragons? Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So what I look at with this base is how can I destroy three of the wizard towers and, uh, again, I'm not going to worry about the infernos. The only thing is... Um, one of the red air bombs will destroy all the bats, and the uh, tornado trap will destroy every bat that's in the tornado trap. So, so I try to make my bats fly separate, completely separate from the loons, because the bats will not trigger a red balloon, but they will die from them, and the balloons will track them. Uh, likewise, the, the bats will not trigger a tornado attack, but they will... Um, they will completely get destroyed by them if another unit sets it off. So from this base, um, when I was looking at it, this is basically what I did. Um, I'm looking for value from my two E-Dragons. And I'm also looking for funneling. So from this area over here, there's a lot of buildings on this edge that the E-Drag can take out. I bring two E-Dragons to... Um, basically do the funneling and then move my troops inside this base has of course this big open area over here and so the the bats are going to want to stay in uh, or not the bats all the dragons are going to kind of stay along the perimeter not want to go to the center but these are completely ignoring um, this whole area over here and this area over here so those puffers will not do anything to the to the middle um, left and right, top. So, uh, let's go ahead and watch that. Um, the deployment of the bats is, is a timing thing. You have to kind of get a feel for it. What you're looking for is building units that are not, um, you know, splash damage like the whiz towers. So, you need to get those out of the way first and kind of track your bats according. Um, so I'm, of course, sending my entire squad over here. I'm sending the um, Slammer one direction so that he can take care of things on this side. And I'm sending the bats on this side so that they can take care of the wizard tower. Um, and that's just the way that that works. And, of course, there, there are some troops going towards the middle, which is great. Because that should take care of the eagle. Eagle has to fall before bats. One eagle hit will um, completely decimate the bats. So at this point, I'm setting all my bat spells. And the reason I am is because... Um, the reason I'm setting my bats now is because the wizard towers are destroyed. 
and all these troops are going towards that wizard tower right there. So, the only freeze that I need to use are on this wizard tower and this wizard tower. And again, one um, one wizard shot will destroy all the bats that are in that area. So, um, now I'm sending them here at this corner so that they will take this whole side out and they don't really have to worry about this wizard tower because um, all this is already attracting that attention. So he's going to be shooting this direction and never shoot back towards the bats and the bats are coming back up this angle. So let's see that work. Okay, so the bats are going to take out all this. That whole corner is gone. Meanwhile, the wizard tower is gone. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, so the crossbows set to air can be problematic, um, especially on the higher level crossbows. So set to ground is ideal, but if not, I mean, it is what it is. So uh, you can still make this attack very viable if, if you don't worry about that. So at this point, we know that the next defense that will be attacked by these bats is this one. Uh, this wizard tower is in range of doing that. Do you guys want to say something? Yes. What yeah, do you want to say? A cross thingy. A yeah. crossbow? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like that's a... Yeah, I'm not a wussy. <laughs> okay. This is a crossbow. They're really mean. Okay. And this is a whiz tower. He's really mean. Okay. Why are they yeah, why are they mean? That's... Yeah. Just cuss. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Back to the video. Okay. So, I'm going to freeze that one before he gets his first shot off, or else they're all dead. Every last bat is dead. Okay, so he's getting ready, and now he's frozen. I, I got it just in time. So, their bats are going to come up and destroy that. Um, of course, with the bats... Here's the thing. With the bats taking out this one, this is why timing is important. Taking out this whole corner has allowed the loons and a lot of these dragons to go towards the middle because they don't have anything within that area that they're getting drawn to so while the bats are taking care of all this all the loons are marching up towards the town hall okay um i do have another freeze left obviously that wizard tower is down and now they're going to path right through here so again the wizard tower's ability to hit is here so this freeze needs to come out as the bats finish this off and go on to that one this this has to be frozen that's it or you're going to lose See that? So he was getting ready for his for his shot. Every last bat would have died. Meanwhile, all this is coming up for the town hall to definitely weaken it up. I don't remember. I think they didn't quite get this town hall uh, with this group, but it weakened it quite a lot. So the bats are coming through. They've got all this to destroy. They might not get all of it, but man, they made a huge impact. They took about basically an entire side of the base. Like, this whole area is all done by spells for that and now it's just a matter of using the hero's abilities to the best ability um i think i lost the warden without using that ability i try to save him for taking up the town hall but um he died beforehand um one of the black bombs will destroy him completely so keep that in mind um so yep town hall went down with the ones coming around the corner and then it's just a matter of finishing everything off. And on this particular attack, I got to swag a, a queen ability. And so that was something special. And there you go. So that's that attack. Um, the next one I'll show is not that great. I mean, it's, it's a great attack, but it's not um, anything special. because It's really not a max base. But the... Um, the principles are the same. So, when I look at this base, what I'm looking for, what three whiz towers can I destroy? Alright. Um, yep. I don't remember exactly where I attacked with this base. Um, but again, three whiz towers had to go. It, it's not a it's not a very high town hall. Um, but that's that. Alright. So, so there we go. So there's my uh, funnel. I got to destroy the troll Tesla, troll Tesla, and all these buildings down here are available for destruction. 
with just these two troops. Um, likewise, all this is as well. Um, so I get to destroy this whole corner and make a great funnel. Now look at that funnel. It is pretty epic. Um, and again, they're, they're still living. They're, they're going to continue to do damage for a lot of this attack, which is what you really would like if you can. Um, bringing only two rages, um, I, I like that. Um, it seems to work pretty well for me. Um, I wish I could incorporate more freezes because it would have been really nice to save that, um, to save that slammer. Sometimes they get caught by the single infernos and they get trashed really bad. My daughter has a question, yes? What's an inferno? What's an inferno tower? Yeah. Well, an inferno tower is this building right here what an inferno tower does is only shoot one unit and it hits a huge amount of damage and they die really quickly or it's on multi-mode and it can attack a bunch of units at one time and hurt them all not as quickly but it'll kill them all and that is really bad okay back to the video sorry uh sanaya has a question yeah well it's cartoon killing so there you go. Don't worry. I'm deleting the game again. <laughs> Don't worry. You keep me alive. You're good. All right. Back to the video. All right. So, again, it's a matter of timing as far as when to release those bats. And the Tesla of the town hall will really take out some bats. So, I like to um, keep them away from there as possible. Um, again, I want those... I want three wizard towers destroyed before I send out the bats because I don't have three freezes. I have I have two freezes, and that is it. So they've got to go. This particular base, I am fighting a blower, which is kind of dangerous. It's kind of dangerous to do that, but it is what it is. So, so that's that. Um, and there goes that, that wiz tower. So... At this point, I can start to send the bats. I chose to send the bats right here at that um, Inferno Tower. Um, knowing that the pathing would come this direction, I am fighting a, a, um, a Huffer, but yeah, it is what it is. So um, I was already sending this before I noticed the, the um, yeah, Tornado Trap, but... I already sent it, so it is um, going to have to work. And I'm going to try to be really selective with my freezes. So I don't need to freeze that. Yeah. Fortunately, that that spell was just about dead. The tornado trap was just about finished when they got there. So I didn't lose all of them, or else I could have lost my entire um, army of bats. So there is some definite risk reward versus these bats. Um, the freeze was able to freeze quite a few buildings, which you want to get good value. Freeze multiple buildings if you can. But in that case, uh, now it's just good old fun and destruction. Again, this is not a max 12, but it's it's still good to three-star these ones. It's very necessary. You have to three-star these bases because these are the ones that can get you in trouble. Um... I got to swag a little bit of a swag on that on that freeze. I didn't really need it. Yes. Oh, okay. And that's my drama queen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, finishing it off. That's it. Just just destroyed. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So that was my two attacks this war with Town Hall 12. I want to show last war. I know this is going to be a, a fairly long video, but it'll probably be my last one for class. So, so that's it. Um, okay, and let's see this. So last war... I had a couple of decent attacks. They look like they really could have gone the distance for um, for three stars, but they didn't just quite get there. So we'll show those real fast. Um, for this again, when I'm choosing a spot, 
I'm looking to... I have to destroy this multi-inferno. Or else. I have to destroy that or else all my bats are going to die. Um, I, three, I see three whiz towers that I can destroy with my loons and, and bats and and that and i can get that town hall really easy but i will be using my warden ability fairly quickly to save everything from this um giga bomb so here's the strategy i'm gonna send out my e-dragons like always on the on the corners of the sides that i want to go on and see if i can't get some good value from them see how much they can destroy now of course people are are putting a lot of um black bombs black air bombs out on the corners and sometimes that takes it i know some of the guys send out one loon per side to kind of soak up those bombs it's a good idea i just haven't employed it or employed that yet just because um i like all my loons to be part of my attack and even with some black air bombs the dragons still tend to get a lot of the funneling done anyway they just might last not last the whole entire attack so again that's that so the funnel is not perfect at this point but this side is pretty decent uh this side is getting there um again the three whiz towers that i'm trying to destroy and the infernal tower um are still all in in view of this attack so um there we go okay one, one second one second um so I've got to use that Warden ability right now, just protect from the Gigabomb. And my stuff is coming down. Okay. So right now, two of the three Wiz Towers are gone. At this point, the third Wiz Tower that I planned on getting is in the opposite corner of the way that I'm setting my bats. So the Wiz Tower that I will need to destroy is this one and this one. And it's really important to get this eagle down or else if he shoots the eagles one shot well if he shoots the bats the eagle will destroy the the bats in one shot so that's got to go down too so again this was not a complete win i did get a strong two star on it um part of my mistake is when you have multiple buildings the bats sometimes split and don't take the exact pathing that you want um and that ended up being a problem for me because i used the freeze here Granted, if I didn't use this freeze right now, all these bats are gone, just destroyed. But I got another flock up here and a bit over here. So they didn't stay together. It's easier to freeze when the bats flock together because you can you can guess their pathing a lot easier and use the um, freezes accordingly. But at this point, I've already used the freeze here. I have to use another one because that freeze is coming off and I can't lose all those bats. So there's my second freeze, which means I have no freezes. And unfortunately, I have two wizard towers left. This one is still strong, but will take some damage. And it's not looking really good for me at that point. So whatever this guy comes in contact with is dead and all my bats will die. So black air bomb had that been a red air bomb all those bats are dead they're running with my balloons which is a bad idea although the tornado trap has already gone off over here i don't have to worry about that but one red balloon and they'll all die still there's a ton of balloons and my bats are getting smoked <laughs> but man i'm hoping just hoping that the balloons can get their job done but those whiz towers are just too strong so i'm not going to be able to down them um all those balloons are all packed together just yeah really rough um yup that's that so my heroes are running through getting distracted getting frozen um yeah so at this point it's just a matter of trying to get the best percentage you can how to use my queen ability though um basically no chance of finishing off this base so regardless an 89 percent it's not bad it, it usually would do okay 89 percent two star so that was that um final one for town hall 12 i'll show you it's my final one now 71 percent eh. again same basic concept um they have the outside town hall that i want to destroy but again i have to use my uh, warden ability really early and that can be kind of kind of fatal so protect from the gigabomb running out 
And that's kind of that. Again, I'm looking for three Wiz Towers. These Wiz Towers, oh gosh, I think maybe it would have been maybe it would have been better to come this direction. I didn't really like to look this puffer here, but it probably would have been better. I probably could have taken out those three Wiz Towers. My other idea was that this freeze, a freeze on this unit right here, would have froze both of these units. Um, so it should be one freeze for two Wiz Towers. That was my thought. Um, again, this attack did not go for three stars. So um, I didn't think it was a really bad attack. I mean, I really... It's it's really close for, for not getting it. Um, there you see the single freeze for all that. Here's the problem, though. It woke up. It seems to be a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot more building than they could destroy in that time limit of one freeze. I mean, it did clear out the corner, but gosh, that's a lot of bats destroyed. I mean, that's got to be over two-thirds my flock. Um looks like a red bomb took out the rest and at this point I'm kind of in trouble <laughs> um, attack is not going well and then it's just a matter of percentage so I did get the two star eh, whatever yeah so that's pretty much that 71% end result so it's not foolproof uh, this was a mm, this is a pretty decent base as far as defense goes, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I will show just the Town Hall 11. I, I find that this is the absolute best attack for Town Hall 11. I mean, I absolutely love it. I was able to actually three-star some 12s in the last Clan League War maybe two clan league wars um ago um with this exact same attack with my town hall 11 um it, it seems to just be completely brutal although <laughs> i uh <laughs> i did miss on a dip 11 which was a uh, dip uh 10 which was pretty embarrassing i'm like i cannot believe it but regardless it's still a pretty pretty awesome attack um I'm going to show that one, because I don't even know what I did wrong on 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 that dip, but sometimes you just, you just screw up. So, um, with this one again, when I'm looking at this one, I'm like, okay, where's the, where's the whiz towers I can do? You can be a little bit, um, a little bit more reckless, I find, with 11. You tend to just dominate really well with the troops that you're given at Town Hall 11 versus the defense they have. Um, so again, I'm just trying to get value out of these, um, E-drags, and, I mean, quite a few buildings will go down with them. The funnel is set. I mean, funnel is ready. So, drags come out. Um, of course, I sent my loon and my, um, slammer in two different directions to kind of maximize the ability of both. I'm um, trying to get those slammers to open up some walls so that the heroes have a path into there as well. Um, and that's that. It is nice to not have to use the... Um, it's nice to not have to use the Warden ability for the Town Hall in Town Hall 11, which is kind of an advantage. You can kind of use it whenever you need it. Um, so that's that. So, at this point, I have destroyed... Some of the Wiz Towers, this one's going down, this one's in indefinite trouble, and then you just have two more once those are down. Um, again, I think I'm going to send them. Yes, I did. Um, so, Wiz Tower is distracted. He's going against these. So, if you can sneak up from behind with these bats and take him out while he's not focused on those, just double check what damage these dragons have, because... If, you, if it kills the dragons, one hit, and the bats are dead again. So, that's that. But that was my plan. Like, okay, I can, I, can, I can hit that guy in the back. It ended up working. I mean, the bats didn't do too much to it, but that was my plan. So, from here, I have two whiz towers left. This is being guarded by some, some crossbows that are set to air. And I've just got to go from there. 
So try to freeze as much as I can for the best value possible. And that's that. Uh, there's my last freeze that comes out, stops all of that. And from there, it's just good fun. So yeah, I, I really do think that Town Hall 11 versus 11 or Town Hall 11 versus 12, this is an extremely solid attack from a from a Town Hall 11. The possibilities are, are really good of getting that three star. Um, but just to show that I do suck, probably more than I actually do. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is a base, not even anywhere near um, as good as the one I just destroyed. I do have a multi-inferno, and that is a problem if you don't kill that with the kill swap. So, in looking at this base, I just have to kill two of the four Wiz Towers. Man, kill this one, kill this one. What I probably should have done is come from this direction, uh, here, right? This should have been my dragon attack. Um, that way they would have been drawn to this Inferno Tower that's set to multi. That would have been a much better attack. And use my E-Dragons down here. Unfortunately, I, maybe I underestimated or got too cocky after destroying it down all of it. <laughs> but either way, it was dumb. Um, so there's that. Good funnel. It's working good. And unfortunately, all my junk split pretty bad it didn't um, stay together and it's really embarrassing to <laughs> do that but um, whatever so the troops never really like that infernal tower very much um, I used the ability but oh this is just getting roasted I mean gosh dude I totally should have had the space um, my heroes are up still. So I sent it into here. That was kind of dumb. I, I sent my bats directly into the path of a Inferno Tower set to multi with all the stupid Teslas. That was really dumb. Um, what I should have done is been a little more patient and waited for this Wiz Tower to go down and then froze all this crap. But yeah, it's stupid. So, you can just see how many bats get demolished by all these things. And I've got to use two freezes on one Inferno Tower. Pretty stupid. Um, still should have had that base, all things, all things considered. Um, but that's, that's kind of that, so... Again, stupid ice golems are attacking, and the Inferno Towers just demolished all of my, uh, my loons, and I died. <laughs> I mean, all defense is down that can attack this archer, but there's no way she's going to get that much damage, so pitiful, pitiful attack. Don't get cocky. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that's the idea of Drag Bat. It is to, on Town Hall 12, take out at least three of the Wiz Towers from your Dragons and Loons and Slammer. Um, if you can't kill three, you're in trouble because you only have two freezes with this particular attack. Um, I'll show it one more time. So, check your Wiz Towers, get them destroyed. Um, that's how that works. Um, so again, E-Dragons on the corners to start your funnel. Look for areas that you can get a lot of value. So I see, like, multiple buildings here that should go down with this one E-Dragon. Multiple buildings that should go down with this E-Dragon. I want to destroy this and this with the E-Dragon if possible, but it's not always possible, so um, at least the funnel is set really strong. So 
that's that. Um, using the rages just to kind of keep everything in line. Again, the point, the, the main point on this attack, you have to account for every shot that these whiz towers make. So, send your bats when they're distracted or when you have the freezes available. If there's still three whiz towers of, out there, you're gonna run out of freeze on the last one. So don't do not do that. Um, so that's kind of that. Timing of your freezes is exceptionally important. Um, the, the Tesla on the, on the town hall will destroy your bats completely. Don't try to send bats at a town hall. It's a bad idea. Um, that's that. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for putting up with my video and my wonderful kids in the background. Uh, much love for y'all. Thank you for having me. And we'll catch y'all on the flip side.